The Valley of Mexico, 1890 to 1904. This was accomplished by a canal 30 miles long, 20 to 7 feet deep, costing $7.5 million. The Harbor Works of Veracruz, Mexico. This required 260 cubic yards of masonry, 1 million tons of rock and breakwaters, and 12 million cubic yards of dredging in the inner basin. Subsidiary work for the city's sanitation and water supply, and for the port, dock, and warehouse equipment were involved. The total value of the works was $12.5 million. These works were in progress under John Benjamin Body from 1896 to 1899 and involved a serious struggle against yellow fever and malaria. The trans Isthmian Railroad at Tehuantepec, Mexico. This standard gauge railway was constructed together with the harbors of Coatzacoalcos on the coast of Mexico and Salinas Cruz on the Pacific Ocean, a distance of 210 miles. The railway and ports were of modern character with ample capacity to handle the heavy trans Isthmian traffic of goods between eastern and western United States and the Hawaiian Islands before the completion of the Panama Canal and the diversions of the traffic to it in 1914. Mr. Body was engaged on these works from 1899 to 1901 and they cost 15 million dollars. Mr. John Benjamin Body was also very instrumental in the development of petroleum production in Mexico and the establishment of the Mexican Eagle Oil Company next occupied his intention with Sir Wheatman Pearson and Sons. The necessity of a local cheap fuel oil supply for the trans Isthmian Railroad locomotives and electricity generating plants of the ports was the incentive for this development. In the course of time, the products of the Mexican Eagle Oil Company found their way to every corner of the globe. Mr. John Benjamin Body was ultimately concerned with the development work in this great undertaking. A maximum product of 20,000 tons of petroleum daily was reached all of which was turned into fuel oil, asphalt, lubricating oil, gasoline, kerosene, paraffin wax, and other industrial products. All of the refining was done in Mexico with the manufacture of the packages required. Distribution was organized within Mexico and to all the principal consumption centers of the world. John Benjamin Body's interest in this remarkable development continued until its activities with the Republic were taken over by the government of Mexico in 1938. In temperament, Mr. Body was democratic and genial. He had the gift of always getting the best out of his associates and assistants. In 1915, he returned to England, where he resided until his death. However, during the 25 years between 1915 to 1940, he made many trips to the United States and Mexico. On August 10, 1898, he married Mary Hammer, who with, he had one daughter. Patrice Millicent Kelton survived him. Mr. Body was elected associate member of the American Society of Civil Engineers on October 2, 1895, and a member on May 2, 1900. I'd like to end by saying thank you to everyone for listening to The Legend of J.C. Brown.